Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to T-Bone Southern Ride. As you can see, here we go down the road at half the speed we need. Just an old fat boy on an old fat boy. <laughs> oh man, it feels like it's been forever since I've got to do a ride and review video. I uh, want to thank y'all for the love on the last few videos I put out. Uh, got a day here after the rain. Things are drying up a little bit, hopefully. Hopefully you guys ain't too waterlogged. So I wanted to do just a short video because it's, it seems like it has been forever since I've got to do a ride and review. Uh, the last ride and review I did, I put out a little while back about uh, the Wild Angels. Uh, so I wanted to do a ride and review today. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the movie Stone Cold now. Stone Cold starred Brian Bosworth, a biker flick. Uh, it was put out in uh, 1990 or 91. I had to, I'm not really certain. I know it was either 1990 or it was 1991. But it stars your boy Brian Bosworth in it. Uh, and guys, when this movie first came out, I can remember I was young when this movie first came out. Stone Cold was just a... Uh, uh, just a movie that was uh you know a, a stereotypical 1990s movie you know we were still dealing with mullets uh the uh muscle beach guys was still very popular working out on the beach getting their muscles and of course brian came in with his skunk mullet we call it and uh <laughs> laid the beat down with his skunk mullet <laughs> if you haven't watched the movie guys uh, it, it essentially it's a biker movie that kind of goes stereotypical you know biker club dealing in drugs but it has a serious twist in it they're going to do something in this movie called cracking the whip they are essentially going to try to take out a guy called Whipperton who I think is the uh, Attorney General for Louisiana. And uh, yeah, I mean, it essentially ends up with a bunch of bad bikers and Brian's Bo Brian Bosworth trying to beat them at their own game. Of course, he's an undercover cop. Uh, he uh, goes undercover FBI or it's maybe the DEA, one of them anyway. They One of those three letter words puts him uh, undercover. And uh, so it turned out that uh, it was just a, uh, it was a fun movie. There was a big drug deal supposed to go down in the movie and Bosworth kind of bobbled that one, but he ended up recovering. But anyway, uh, so where I'm riding at today on the ride review guys is I just came off of Highway 68 out of Copper Hill and I'm hitting one of my favorite roads to ride just for a quick ride. It's uh, Grassy Creek Road. Uh, again, Grassy Creek Road, if you guys saw my video. So if you guys saw my video that, where I went down Highway 2. Uh, but here we are. Uh, this, this is one of these, another, this is another fun road to ride. It's kind of one of them roads that links Tennessee and Georgia. Uh, just a fun little road. A lot of curves good and curvy clean road uh, certain parts of it are of course this leads into uh, to Tumbling Creek down where the baptizing hole is it's just a good fun road to ride on and of course I won't ride it all the way in I have a turn off that I'll take because I like I said I just wanted this one to be a short video ride and review I hadn't got to do one in a little while but guys Stone Cold uh, in the 90s I mean we had Stone Cold we had, uh, of course, Lorenzo Lamas as the Renegade on the television series, The Renegade. Uh, and of course we had, uh, you know, Running Cool. We had a bunch of good biker movies that came through in the 90s that uh, kind of changed the way the movies were being dealt with. It wasn't just, <clears throat> now earlier when I said Stone Cold was a uh, typical stereotypical movie it really wasn't because the dynamics of the motorcycle club had changed by then 
of course you still had a lot of the old guard from the 60s and 70s still in the motorcycle culture but the new guard was taken over and guys like Brian Bondsworth and uh, Andrew Devolv and all those guys they kind of they kind of took the culture in a different direction and of course you know, it, it, there are some things that will never change about the motorcycle culture, especially club culture. But, you know, uh, they were just fun movies in the 90s. And, of course, in the 90s, like I said, we were dealing with, uh, we were dealing with uh, tightrope pants and uh, mullets <laughs> and Hurley gear. And everybody wanted to be bleach blonde and play volleyball in California and it was and very much the California culture pretty well much led the rest of the country at that time but Brian's boss, Brian Bosworth of course you know he, he's a he's still in Hollywood he's still doing a few things here and there of course uh, football was Brian Bosworth's forte he was a football player who turned to an actor he didn't do nothing no different than Joe Namath and all those other guys before him did so <laughs> and of course Joe Namath did the biker movie called CC and Company and I'll try to give a review on CC and Company I really wanted to do CC and, C and, C C and Company <laughs> say that five times really fast after I did the wild ones but uh, Stone Cold kind of fell back into my lap uh, it popped up on my, one of my YouTube uh, suggestions and I rewatched it and I man it was just so nostalgic it just brought back so many good memories I enjoyed it so much but uh, you know you think about what the culture has been in the 90s the motorcycle culture exploded exploded the 90s it hey guys sorry about that uh, we were right in getting close to the end of uh, me talking about the Stone Cold movie with the uh, riding review. Uh, my camera froze. That's the first time my camera has ever froze. But I was right there at the end of it and I was, you know, getting ready to tell you guys to leave me a smiley face if you've gotten that far into the video. Uh, drop down and give me a like button hit the like button. Let me know what's going on guys that you're enjoying the videos So instead of scrapping the entire video I kind of watched where it froze at and got it back up as far as I could the audio might get a little strange there toward the end of me being on the bike before the camera froze, but uh, Guys, thanks for the support. That's just one of those technical difficulties uh, I did a little research these cameras are prone to freeze sometimes but nonetheless i was in the middle of a ride i couldn't just stop and pull over and reset everything so i just thought i'd jump in the truck hook up the tender moments thing and give you the rest of t-bone southern ride guys hit the like button comment show me the support show me the love uh Stone Cold was probably one of my favorite movies to come out of the 90s. Uh, Brian, Bondsworth, Brian Bosworth did a great job in that movie. Uh, it had a great cast from top to bottom. And if you go back and you watch that movie, you'll see a lot of familiar faces that came along. So I'm not going to spoil anything like that. And I'm not going to spoil the ending of the movie. If you haven't seen it or if you have seen it and it's just been a while, go check it out. 1991's Stone Cold. Guys. I hope you guys had a chance to get out and enjoy some of this weather. Till the next time, this has been T-Bones Southern Ride.